Uh, kia ora, uh, my name's uh, Keith Murphy. I'm the caretaker of um, Te Pā Oraka Hautu Kura. Um, I've been hired here as a gardener and when I got here we only had one medium sized garden inside the school and now we've still got that one which has got a, got a lot bigger and now we have a bigger garden on the field with um, our sustainability centre behind me. So basically I want to get our tamariki back in the mara, uh, grow our kai um, and obviously cook our kai and just more sustainable living and healthy. So my dream is to turn this paddock into an orchard basically. My dream is that whānau come here and they eat off the trees, they, they eat out of the whenua. Um, I don't see why our whānau should be paying big dollars for vegetables at a shop when they can come and grow it, pick it themselves and just live off the land. Man, That is my dream. I love all these kids, all our whānau to live off the land. So our, our babies, we've been here on our site now, I've been doing this for the last six years. So the impact on our babies is they take the knowledge they, they find in the kura and they take it home and they tell their parents, we need to grow a garden, we need to plant this, we need to do this, we need to recycle and, and for our kids to go home and tell their parents what to do. It's got to be a good thing. Our school provides lunches, so we have a hot meal every day um, for our lunches, and our kids brings the scraps from from the kitchen, from the leftovers, and they bring it out here in the, into our sustainability centre, and we turn it into compost. And. Again, that compost is used for our mother, so it's a big, big cycle, big cycle. And all our kids know what, what they need to do every day. They know where to take their paper, so we, we recycle their paper, we compost their paper, the cardboard, and all food scraps. So, only thing that's leaving this school at the moment is plastic. And we even take some kids down to Eastgate and we recycle the soft plastics, so that gets all sorted in your classrooms. Mm. At the beginning, we were filling um, 480 litres of um, recycled waste going to the dump. To this date, to this date, and it was quite surprising yesterday, we are only doing, we are only doing um, 60. Yeah, so everything else is getting recycled, so. Our um, Uduwal uh, teenagers, they're doing NCEA for business studies. So we have made these compost piles um, and they have to figure out a business plan, a motto, um, how to sell it, so that we can sell our compost to Farno. So our Farno have um, jumped on board as well. So we do a couple of composting fundraisers. So they bring in their green waste from their own homes, bring it in, help us build a compost. Um, at the end of the day, hopefully they come back and buy it. But we've had oh, two weeks of fundraising and we've had whānau join in to help us. And a lot of them are now, there is one whānau at the moment who's making their own compost at home. We just need to get the word out that it's easy. It's not hard work. Um, and we can all do it. We can all do it. You know. I think every marae, every school, <clears throat> everywhere in New Zealand should be doing this, this composting. <laughs>